If our desire is to do an accurate, very realistic painting, uh, first of all, we need a very accurate drawing and we need a very clear picture. Here's a eyeball and uh, my first step if I want to do photorealistic work is I have to do a, a drawing that is extremely accurate and I could spend up to an hour just drawing this. So I'm going to just show you how I get started here. If I want to draw that out, you have, need to know how to draw. If we don't know how to draw, then you need to know how to maybe use different systems like there's grid system I've said before I have no problem if you trace but sooner or later you, we need to know how to draw so here's the old-fashioned way you simply draw it out and you can measure this is another way we can measure we can say this point is there and so I can actually I'll use this I do this when I work from a live model I'll go like this and I'll make a point here. So that distance is the same as that. And this only works if we're going to do it the same size. So there's many ways to do this. So let me just start like that. And let's find out how, how high this is. So if my eyeball is going to go up here about like this, this has to be, you know, down to the eyelashes. It comes about here like this. So that gets me started. And then so I can come in here like this. I can come down here like this and I, I know that essentially this is this is my beginning here okay and I'll just work on it a little bit more but I, that's it on the drawing for now okay I'm continuing to draw here if you can I don't know if you can see my drawing a little hard to see it and here's the eye and it's just about I just about have enough I'm not going to do this super detailed but a number of you have asked how to do uh, realism. Now here again, I, what I've been doing, I can measure here and I come over here like this and I go, okay, these eyelashes are going to come down about like this here. And in some cases I actually measure in between the, in this case, like the eyelashes, I measure the distance from here to there. And I, again, I do this when I do life drawing. Now even, even here like this, see this little white dot here, I'm going to draw that in here. I'm going to draw this little highlight right here, draw that highlight here, and then there's a highlight right in here. Now that I have to draw that in, I can take my time here and I can go quite slowly and draw this out here and I can come in here and I need to be very careful here. I'm right here and I come in and then these little eyelashes come in here just like this. This is all part of this kind of carefulness is if you want to get realistic you just draw very accurately and very very slowly okay so that's probably enough and I'll get ready to start painting here my palette is over here and uh, again I've done a number of lessons here it doesn't matter where we start but be just like drawing we have to be very very careful we start here like this and we're right here and we come in here and we're very very careful uh, again it does not matter whether you put your do your painting in glazes it doesn't matter where you start uh, when you paint this realistic just find a place to start I usually say, suggest start start in a place that's kind of easy but Notice here how accurate I am. I'm just going like this, go very slowly. It doesn't matter what kind of paper we use. It doesn't matter what kind of brush you use as long as it's halfway decent. But if you're going to get realistic, your brush needs to have a good point. Okay, I'll work on this a little bit more. It, it takes a long time to do a painting this slowly. I've been working on this now for, this is probably a half hour from when I first started, finished the drawing. Again, drawing has to be accurate. And then if you look carefully here, I use these squares. If you want to paint something very realistically and very accurately, it's good if you use the squares. The squares give us a good idea of how I'm doing. It's a good test. So even if we go over here for the whites of the eyes, a lot of people will not be able to get that color right. The colors I'm using are just red, yellow, and blue. Uh, any red, yellow, and blue should be able to get these these colors. You don't need anything fancy. This just watercolor paper. Doesn't matter what kind of paper. Doesn't matter what kind of uh, how you do it. Doesn't matter where you start. You don't have to glaze or layer. Doesn't matter. All irrelevant. You just have to get each part right. Now let me show you what I mean by that. 
so this here I haven't done this so and in terms of getting realistic if I want a really realistic picture here uh, this is part of the reason it's it's quite boring to demonstrate this because it's so slow but this is just one eyeball so if I'm doing a whole face and I want to do it realistically you can see here I'm just going in and I'm painting just these tiny little eyelashes here and if I did lessons filled with this kind of painting nobody would watch him because the only thing magical about something realistic is that it takes forever you just it's like writing a novel you have to spend forever in some cases you even count the eyelashes you make sure each eyelash is painted exactly the same direction is painted the right way you look at every little corner you get every curve there's a lot of perspective right here so even though I'm still drawing even though I have a brush so I'm putting that in there like that I come down there like that I come in here like that and so now that eyeball that reflection there is a little bit more realistic if you look at that and that okay so that's uh, another stage I've been working on this eye for about an hour here's the photograph here's the eyeball I'm working on and to show you a little bit here again here's our picture but I'm going to show you how to paint these things and again it's no more exciting than uh, anything else that I've done on this so we're using a good a halfway decent round brush and here you can kinda of see here you need to find out exactly where your hair is there's one here and you're gonna come in here like this with a good brush and then you gotta figure out where does it go it comes up like this we're gonna come up here like this and uh, this is what painting realistically is about a little brush and spending hours and hours and hours and hours sometimes just painting an eye uh, and very few people have the patience this is the photograph of the eye that I used and um, here's the painting of it So the, again, to the reminder and what happened here is first of all, number one, all 22 of my lessons, they talk about, nearly all of them talk about this. If we want to make something look like something else, you want to copy something and make it look realistic, photographic, number one, get your drawing right. Number two, get the values right. Uh, number three, get the color right. And uh, that's it and it, don't worry just red yellow and blue will do it as mother lessons suggested so now I'm going to uh, paint this uh, this eye with a big brush and do it very quick uh, the thinking here is exactly the same when I paint slow and detailed and when I paint with a big brush and paint fast I'm still trying to get the drawing right get the values right get the color right and I'm not worried about where I start or glazes or anything and if I'm working from a live model then I have very little control so this will have a lot uh, you know a lot more mistakes this won't be near as accurate but I'm doing the same thing I did there with a little brush but now I'm using a big brush so I put my color in here of course use different techniques now I'm using big brush techniques and my whole technique here is um, more fluid and loose so not not nearly so uh, you know tight and realistic because if you know sometimes I'm working from a a model and I only have you know the, it's a two minute pose it's a three minute pose so in this case I'm going to come in here like this so now let's come in here on the uh, center of the eye there it's blue that's all we need to know put your your blue paint in there come in here like this and I still need to paint around my highlight here and the only difference again sorry to repeat teachers repeat things I especially have a tendency to repeat things but the thing is uh, get your drawing right get your values right and the only change in this approach from the photographic approach is it's a bigger brush bigger brush forces us to to become more impressionistic there's no way we can be super realistic and then the other thing is speed if we shorten our time and we paint quicker and we paint with a bigger brush 
it forces our painting to become more impressionistic, more real, uh, not so realistic. So I'm tipping this brush up. So if you want to get a more impressionistic style and not be so tight and photographic, I recommend the easiest way to do it is just go to big brush and then give yourself a time limit. You only have so much time to get your painting done. And we can go ahead and I think we can add that dark center. Could do that at the end, but this center of the eye is very dark here. So it comes in here like this. Tip that big brush up like that. Get a little bit darker here. Up through here. It comes right on down here. It gets very dark right in through here. Still drawing. Always drawing. If the only time we don't need to worry about getting an accurate drawing is if we have no desire to paint what we see. If you want to make something up, then you don't need to learn how to draw. But if we want to paint a face or something and make it look kind of the way it looks, well, then we need to know how to paint it the way it looks, uh, or need to know how to learn how to draw. Let's leave that for a second. Now we're going to go in a little bit of red here. Come in over here like this. This comes in through here like this here. And then we go to the color of the... A lot of people don't get that right. They, they don't see the color of the whites of the eyes. Again, use the little squares if, you, if we have to. That yeah, I have in other lessons and you put your color in here like this. color goes like that. A lot of people just, if they struggle to, they want to leave the whites of the eyes white. Well, guess what? They are not white there. That's the color they are there. And then we come in here, get a little more red, dry the brush out. Again, it's just like my temple here is just like I'm working from a live model. It's like she's giving me a, this eyeball is giving me a three minute, five minute pose. This is taking longer than three minutes, but give it my best shot. Here, like that. And again, you can see how quickly it's it's looking, looking like that. And then we'll let that dry a little bit and come in here, grab a little bit of pinkish purple, a little bit of color right in through here. And through here like this. Fade this out a little bit. Come in here, gets darker in through here. It's a lighter pinkish blue right in through here. A few little whites peeking through. A little bit of a white right, right through here and here. And here we got a Clean your brush out. All the techniques I'm using, I've showed you all these techniques in previous lessons. Tell you exactly what I'm doing. Uh, these, so if you want to see what this technique is more carefully, look at my other lessons. And I show you when I paint the apple and I do different things. I show you how this technique works. Comes in there like that. And uh, let's go ahead and put the uh, some of the eyelashes in. Very dark right through here. This gets very dark. Look at how slow I went on these when I did the uh, small one, but the big one here I just whip them in really fast. Not nearly so accurate and it, a lot of times it looks sloppy. It doesn't look very good because this is always much more risky to paint it, but we're just trying to get the essence. Whenever you paint this quick, we're trying to just get the the essence of kind of what's going on here. And oops, we need the eyelashes on the bottom yet. Just about forgot about them. And again, big. This is about a three-dollar brush. Nothing expensive. And you flick these down here. You can even try breaking up, breaking up the bristles of your brush. Just flick down here like this, maybe. saves time, say, do something like that. So, 
that is uh, that's about it. That's just a quick impressionistic version, but you can see that the the two paintings. In fact, if you look at all three of these together, it's you know it's it's it, this is very photographic. Okay, you see that here, very photographic, and this one is you can't see it in the film very much, but I uh, can see now just holding it up here needs a little more. This is too bright in here. We gotta tone this down through here. There we go. That's looking a little better there. So, but that is still the essence of it. You can see that's that's how you paint when you're going to paint quick. And same thing in landscape. Same thing every subject. These are the two extremely different approaches to painting realistic. The little brush goes super slow. Big brush fast. And that's more than anything else what determines your style, whether you're photographically realistic or you're impressionistic or you're nearly abstract. Okay, there you go.